Hey, what's up? Coach Mark here. Yes, I'm all full of it. Happy day to you. Listen, how to hack your way through that sweet, craving sweet tooth of yours. I got a simple tip. Well, there's one. You could do this. Just real quick. You could do this. You got a sweet tooth. <laughs> you can cover your mouth and close it off and avoid the sweet tooth. Or you can do this one more thing. And before I share what that is, why the heck uh, you're listening right now? Well, my name is Mark Evans. I am the creator of the Lean Body Breakthrough. It's a program, online coaching program designed to help moms and dads who are super busy, super crazy, and there isn't too many moms and dads I know in this world who are not busy or just have crazy lives and schedules. Regardless of be related to your lifestyle or your business or your family or dealing with all the mess in the world right now or all the above, Lives are busy, and when you get over 40, they get busier, and they get harder, and the challenges are different, and you're providing for a family, trying to take care of yourself. So I wanna share with you this sweet tooth hack. If you have a sweet tooth, you need to listen. If you are like, no, 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 I'm more salty, no, no, I like my wine, and you know, I'm not, sweets don't really do it for me. This message isn't for you. But if you are that struggling parent who struggles with a sweet tooth, you wanna pay attention, because it's part of what I do. When I help people pay close attention to the things that maybe they're struggling with to help them work on it. That's my Lean Body Breakthrough Coaching Program. And it's designed specifically for those, those busy parents, moms, and dads to help them not just lose the weight, but to learn how to get it off without long workouts and impossible diets. And there's nothing worse than being on a diet and then telling you, you can't have any dessert. You can't have anything sweet. You can't have anything sugary. You can't enjoy any uh, donut or sugary, you know, dessert or any of that kind of stuff. And that's not what I preach and that's not what I teach my coaching clients in my program. But let's talk about the hack. Super simple, easy. You can start it today. It's something that I was thinking about as I, I had lunch. And now it's one o'clock my time and I had lunch a little while ago. I was real busy. And I typically be at the gym right now getting my workout in. And I go sometime around lunch. I use some, most of the time try to eat after. But I ate lunch and I had a little sweet tooth. Like I was craving. I was craving something sweet. And I'm a sweet tooth guy. Like when I grew up, I remember we had a, what was called a penny candy store. If you're old school, maybe you had a place like that. And you could go in and there was like, like now they have like, you know, candy everywhere. But this was like a penny candy store, it was old school. Little mom and pop joint, they had a little piece of paper, they wrote down what you got. If you got, you know, some of the taffy, and you got some licorice, and you got some of those, you know, all kinds of different candies. I like the little licorice pipes, I got those, it was really cool. Old fashioned candy. But it was like literally five cents, five cents for like, we'd go to camp and for five dollars, we could literally like feed the entire camp for the week on five dollars in candy. I just always had a sweet tooth. So it's always been with me. I've always liked it. In fact, my wife and I go out on our date night. If we decide to get a dessert, um, we say one fork. Bring the plate, one fork, because we've done this before, and I'm not even lying to you, is we ask for two forks, so we have two forks, and <laughs> we're, we're stabbing each other because like, no, that was my piece. I wanted that piece of icing, and I'm not even joking with you. So we say one fork now, so we share. And uh, fortunately we're married, so we don't mind, you know, passing on the germs and all that stuff, right? It's all in the family. So how to avoid the sweet tooth? Simple hack, simple hack. I made you stay on this long. I'm, I'm grateful for you. If you want to know more about my coaching program, you can learn about that. I'm a realistic guy. I got a, I'm a dad. I like sweets. I like my pizza. I want to enjoy it when I want. And I can do that because I have a plan and I have structure in the design program that I'm doing for my own personal journey. And so do the other people in my coaching program that have a coach that's guiding them in the right way so they can get in the best shape of their lives. That's kind of what it comes down to. Here's the hack. I know you've been waiting. This is the hack. Excuse me for a moment. Okay, that's the hack. Yes, this is my ABC gum. ABC gum. I'm gonna put it back in my mouth. Gum, seriously, you're like, what? I listen to this just for gum? Yes, here's the thing. I put in a piece of gum and I've done it before and I'm not even really a big gum chewer. I used to be, I used to be that guy. <laughs> that annoying guy that make those noises with his gum, pop the, pop the gum, pop the gum. It's kind of more of a, maybe an OCD kind of habit. But seriously, I don't have a sweet tooth. I had that sweet tooth 
at lunch. This is real time, like real life situations. Sure, you could say, oh no, Mark, you wanna lose weight. Or you know, you go to the other trainer, hardcore. You only can eat meat and you can't have any sweet and you can't have a glass of wine and you can't enjoy life and you um, have to work out for two hours and you have to lift a thousand pounds over your weight of your head uh, and you have to run miles and miles on the treadmill if you want to burn the fat off and no that's not realistic that's not sustainable either that's the thing it's not realistic it's not sustainable it's not a solution by no means so here's the deal when it comes to being a sweet tooth put some gum in your mouth chew a little gum I'm not too worried about you gaining weight from chewing too much gum. You're like, oh no, but there's calories, there's sugar in there. Yes, but not nearly as much as if you were to go off course and go off the cliff with a bag of Oreos. Do you hear what I'm saying, right? Do you hear? Even then, so you're like, no, I can't, I'm at work. I can't be like, I can't be chewing the gum. I'm supposed to have, you know, a conversation. Can't be spitting, you know. Put a mint in your mouth. Get a little Tic Tac. You know those little Tic Tacs? Those are old. Those are also pretty old school. I don't even know if they make them anymore. Put a Tic Tac in your mouth. Just that little sweetness is going to break a little bit of that craving. Now, is it going to be as good as a Snickers bar? No. Is it going to be as tasty as that sleeve of Oreos? No. But is it going to save you from backpedaling when you're trying so hard to get your health and your, your body back in shape? And I can tell you, I don't know, I share this all the time. I feel like sometimes when it comes to pizza, even when it comes to like desserts, if I smell the icing on the cake, I feel like I put on five pounds. <laughs> Does that resonate with anybody? Needless to say, if I dare bite into it, now I know that I'm being exagger I'm an exaggerator here with this, but I wanna get across the point. I wanna share with you the point of this is that you can enjoy those things. But if it's a regular occurrence, it usually would help to maybe not make it a regular occurrence. So how do you do it? You get some hacks. You learn some hacks. How do you learn the hacks? You get around an expert like me who has tons and tons of hacks. Little hacks that can help you on your course to keep you on course so you don't fall off the wagon. It's hard to be, it's hard to be off the wagon when you're never on the wagon in the first place, right? So do yourself a favor. Learn to, hacks like this. A piece of gum in your mouth can help you through the day if you have a craving for something sweet. Or in the evening, put a piece of gum in your mouth after dinner instead of going into the freezer and diving in the back where you, you hid your Ben & Jerry's ice cream, right? Does that resonate with anybody? If it does, I'm just, I'm just speaking truth, right? So do yourself a favor, get yourself some gum. If they only came out with cookie dough ice cream flavored gum or maybe chocolate cake gum or you know who knows right that might be like mm, I'm chewing gum all day long I'll be tasting cake so anyway that's all I have for you I'm gonna go get in my workout hope this helped super easy hack get yourself some gum chew on that instead of that 2,000 calorie piece of cake take care God bless we'll see you